Oh, you can't do three missions back to back to back. Is that John and Abigail? Too close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go into Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. Wait. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Are we? Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well... Hey, I'm with John! Reading, yes! You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. Which books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel and Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. Uh. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. Please drive better. I kinda like them. You know what? So do I. Hmm, I wonder why we're King Arthur. Hmm. In the wit in the witch Morgana. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why are we in strawberry of all places? Granted, we still can't go to Blackwater. We're probably not wanted what more east. I guess we go west? To pull up just here. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Good teamwork. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well... We need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife and then. I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay.
Man, this look sounds so familiar for some reason. I don't know why. The doctor's office is strawberry? Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. So she's a surgical tech now? In today's world? And I'm a UPS man? Bad jokes are bad. You load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Yetis don't want as good as damage. Of course. So, where is this problem one range? I never even heard of it. But we did the last mission with Sadie. Or her, or the finish her story. Okay. I'm nothing. Oh my god. I'm gonna assume there is something Tom with me trying to get the gold here. That does remind me. I don't know if I'm ever gonna go for the 25. Uh, the road okay. You don't need it for 100%. Um. Oh, we didn't talk about the oh, Arthur ending at all. And that was probably one of the most emotional things I've seen in a game in a long time. I'll be honest, with you, I started getting teary out a little bit because I was like, no way. I think the horse got me the most of all freaking things. Horse petting. Um, I mean, I like the fact to take over as John, which makes story right, story sense between Red Dead 2 and Red Dead 1. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, but, you know, I think I even said it a couple of episodes, like, I know I said I spoiled some things for me, such as, like, how many missions there were, but other than that, I don't know any of the story. I never spoiled any of the story for me, and all my guesses that I've guessed correctly were just the punches. We know that Micah was going to be was very conniving at the end for no reason, and you know, well, there was a reason. He was trying to get free, so he wouldn't get killed by the Pinkertons after a storm that base. There is one matter that I had um, that I'm not 100 sure, which is the nine grave we have to visit. We know who the most recent one is now, but we gotta find the nine graves, which I don't think. Well, we'll finish the mission. We'll figure that out in a second. Yeah, this is where we fought all the, the remaining of the Driscolls. I'm gonna get gold because I also want that one item. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm well, Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. We send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss? 
You looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. You come back here. <laughs> I'll kill him. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my damn wagon. You know that. Come back. Oh, you stupid horse. I don't know what you are, but you're not that good. Freak, I lost a lot of ground on that. Can I kill them? I need more we I don't have any weapons. I literally don't have any weapons. A few years later, why the heck do I not have anything? Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Well, get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Is that my horse? The, the horse named my horse. Epilogue. Part 1, Prague 1 Ranch. The challenge is, there is not much we can do. 
outside of story missions for a little bit because we really have nothing all right guys i have been recording straight for the last hour we lost through the last three missions including arthur's emotional last rod oh wow he's still out there shockingly we've never been we can go to freaking blackwater we're not in trouble Currently, we're sitting at a nice. Wait, what? 74? What the freak happened? Okay, the reason why I'm shocked by that number is because when I started recording today, uh, this episode, or uh, the last three missions, I was at like 66.8 or times or 67.6. I went up 7% basically a little over an hour and a half, I think. To me, that's insane. Like, what caused the jump? Nothing makes sense, but I mean, I'm not going to complain about 7%. So guys, next time on Red Air Redemption 2. Go do some fun work. I'll see you then.